Okay, guys, today I'm going to show you how I load my drum mag. Not going to be a real long video, and maybe a little funny. And yes, I'm going to be using my feet. This one does not come with the grip thing and the pressure release in the back, some of them do. I'm also going to add a bonus to how you can make your shells a little bit better, the cheap ones. I mean, it makes the, the expensive ones even better, so. But nickel plate like Hornady and all that, you're not going to have any problems with. But cleaning your bullets with rubbing alcohol lightly and sewing them into a plastic bag like, like so here. And put them in an ammo box will make them last for a very long time. If you don't, they will get some kind of shit on them that brass gets whenever it sets for too long and gets weathered. And the rubbing alcohol, if you put too much can damage the bullet and get it wet. But all in all, it will keep it from getting its stuff on. And it's this method that I use. You have to use my pant leg to get a grip on this. That's the good thing about it though, once it's loaded, it's loaded. You know, so that's the end of the story with it. Let me see. Yeah, it looks kind of ridiculous, I know. Load this bad boy up. So, for y'all having trouble loading these things, here you go. And make sure, you know, they're all straight too when you load them in there and let it back up. See how I'm pushing it, let one go in, and go back up. That way you make sure they're all going in straight. Looks ridiculous, but it works pretty, pretty, pretty good. Figured it'd be good to knock a myth out right quick for you guys. You fuckers run around the internet saying that when you cock your gun and put one in the chamber and then take it out, we'll knock that down in and cause it to explode in the gun. I'm not going to say you're all wrong because I've not shot real cheap ammo, but. I'd say that's your problem. You need to buy some ammo that's a little bit more expensive. Because I uh, cock mine and uncock it all the time with the same shell too. And I've used some pretty cheap ammo and I've not had any issues. There are a lot of YouTubers out there saying that you uh, can mess your bullets up doing that, and I've not had any problems. So don't take my word for it. It may do that with real cheap ammo, but like I said, I don't use real cheap ammo. This ammo right here I got is real cheap. $19 a box here in Kentucky. These are a pain in the ass to load, but once they're loaded, they're loaded. And you got 50 shells, so... Anyway, here's a tip, guys. Uh, always clean your self-defense weapon. I know I've said in previous videos, like the 45 and stuff, I clean it at her 50 at every box of shells. Well, that's just like one of my toys I shoot around with. Like self-defense guns, you want to keep them clean. Finish the video like I planned. If y'all got an easier way to load this thing, let me know. I see guys on YouTube doing it with just their hands. Oh my god. Man, I'm not too used to whew, drum mags, but man, I still got a lot of bullets to go. I'm probably just gonna load this off camera. Having all kinds of issues, gonna have to get some better recording equipment though for sure. To make things even easier. 
This is what freedom looks like in a magazine on a second amendment, y'all. Honestly, a hundred round one would probably look better. But it's a little bit overkill, if you ask me. Fifty, I mean, you can easily get two of these and you got a hundred. No reason to have that many. One clip right there. Oh, I sound like bidding myself right now. Anyways, while I'm taking a break, I will show you guys my baby now so far. I got the old light on it and the grip and this thing is loaded. I don't see any reason any clearing it because I'm pretty professional with weapons. I've been around all my life. There's nobody in that direction. I'm going to upgrade the sights, get the tritium on the night sights on it. I really do love Glock stuff. I mean, it ain't, it ain't the best guns in the world, but to me, for self-defense, I love them. They're simple. You can upgrade them. You can find parts for them fairly easy. And they work. Like I said, clean it every time you shoot the thing, and you should be good to go. But just to make you uh, feel better. There, are you happy? I can't, I can't put it back into my clip. I keep an extra one in it. Hey, back to loading. Break's over. But seriously, y'all, y'all are gonna have to show me how you're doing that shit with one hand. I see these guys on YouTube, and I shit you not. They'll literally take their magazine and just somehow turn it, hold their thumb on it, and just go just pop it in there. Like I, that, that shit is amazing, guys. Just, just saying, that's, that's pretty cool stuff. We can get them. Oh, you gotta get mad at it. That would be really bad if this just went off. So, people watching, don't try none of my tricks. I mean, some of them are neat, like the tire trick. I mean, if you can't afford the jail and stuff, it's great. But it may have some drawbacks. I've not tested it fully. So, I don't want that going up. Oh, there we go. See how tough it gets when it gets. Down to the end. Oh, drop the bullet. Oh, God. I don't want to have to hit the jam clearly. Also, here's another tip. I'll try to knock off another myth before we go. Put your magazines in bags, guys. It um, keeps them from getting all dirty. Especially your guns that you store in your safe. If they fit in a bag, put them in a bag. Keep them, keep them clean. Okay. Please let me know, though, if that's not a myth. I see people saying all kinds of bullshit all the time on YouTube, making people believe all kinds of crazy shit, you know. But hell, it may have been true. I don't know. I've not used any ammo that's done that though. Oh man. It's got four shells left too. Four shells left. Oh. Next gun video, though, is probably going to be on cleaning your gun, which pretty much applies for all guns, really. That ain't going to be my next video specifically, but on guns, that's what's going to be happening. And then the next one or that is going to be assault rifles, or rifle, AK-47. And I don't know what I'm going to do on that. Probably just shoot something all the hill, maybe a TV or something. I, I don't know. But let's try to get this loaded. 
Yeah, it is kind of scary. I doubt the bullets would go off like this, but hey, you know, who knows? There we go. I hope. I'm gonna get a little rough with her. I don't want to get too rough though. Gotta hurry, gotta hurry. Oh, got him. 50. Roll mag, baby. And. Tile on grip. I love it. They're well worth the money, guys. I will leave affiliate links to these in the bottom. I got the Galusa grip right here. I don't really know why, but I thought, I thought the color of it looked cool, and plus it had a different texture to it. You know, it's. I like it, yeah. Plus a different color looks cool on too, I thought. And last but not least, the O light guys. And I'm not just uh saying this because I'm wanting y'all's money. I mean I do need money to make videos and stuff, but I am recommending you all a really good light here. A really, really, really good light. I've uh, dropped this thing several times, it still works. I've also uh, took the grip off like four or five times. And why did I take it off? Because I didn't line it up right and it still stuck on. So, definitely will be buying more of these. I really do. Uh, like my self-defense weapon when I, when I first got it I had some stuff wrong with it but it just made me like it even more honestly Glock even said they would get it fixed for me and I was like yeah I just yeah. and when the problem is it's got a scratch here which I did not do and it's got a nick on the frame there slide the frame I've shot over a thousand shots through this and they act like on the internet or you shoot so many shots through it it's done it's over with but I assure you not. I mean, it may be about the break. I don't know. The light works great. Oh my God, I can't believe I forgot to mention that. The darn light. I went through like four different lights before I got this one. That's why I'm recommending it to you all. So I spent a lot of money finding a good light. And I finally found one. And it's really budget friendly. It's cheap. Uh, the light is amazing. I've shot... Let's see here, since I've zoned that in, I've shot over 100 shots with it. And I'm not able to light well. And it's still light right in. It hits right, right where the light hits, it hits. Well, uh, up to like 10 yards anyway. So I like to have mine set. You just gotta aim a little lower when you're shooting. A little closer. It also keeps your gun really, really secure for banging and scratching and you can't pull the trigger guys. No way. You'd have to tear the holster off. Hell to pull that trigger. And you, yeah, you could put the strap on it if your face may pull it out of your hands, which just keep your hand real close to it when people's behind you. Put pressure on it. There's another tip. There's nothing wrong with nylon holsters, I love them. I, I honestly, guys, I'm not even bought a, a KDEX or whatever you call them. When I first heard all the trouble people was having with them damn things, and the fact that people couldn't even uh, train and go to competitions with nylon holsters, that kind of made me mad too, so just that fact made me want to get one. But it's still the better way to go either way. So. Hope that is, but I will show you how to clean this thing because there is some spots you need to put oil on a block to make it not get all skinned up over time. And I'm probably going to add this to a compilation video and make like a, a, a me shooting a 50. I don't know, I'm trying to do some different stuff since everybody else is uh, doing the same thing. Oh, yeah, I forgot to give you another myth. Well, I couldn't think of one. Let me think here. Oh, I got a good myth for you all. See, I started this gun video stuff for a reason. I enjoy it, and also a lot of you all are into it. 
People say, oh, you got to have a damn, uh, uh, what's it called, the Kdex holster. Come on, guys. Like, get real. You don't need a damn Kdex holster. You don't need it. I've heard people get kicked out all the time. You can, I got this on eBay, by the way, guys. I'll leave a link to it, too, if, if it's still available. It's not on the holster. It's interversible, too. It goes on outside and inside, left or right hip. Really nice. You can even clip it to your book bag. People say, oh, they're dangerous. You're, you're, you're going to end up uh, blowing your blowing your leg off or some whatnot. Guys, this... Hold on. I'll lay the camera down. Uh, look. The gun. And I like these a lot better. They don't skin your gun up neither. As long as you keep your gun oiled up, it will not skin it up. And I ain't even got my strap on it. See, I keep the straps off when I'm walking around with it on me. But, you know, at night, I keep one. Sometimes in the chamber. And uh, the strap on it in case I decide to sleepwalk, which I don't sleepwalk, but... That'd be bad if I decide to sleepwalk, you know. That wouldn't be good, so I try to only do that when I have to or feel like I'm in danger, so... Yeah. There ain't nothing wrong with uh, these holsters, guys. I, I carry it with one in the chamber. People say you got Australian or whatever that is carry when you carry it like this. No, you don't. That's uh, another tip I can go ahead and throw in. Trying to cock that thing when you need it. It's just like trying to put your seatbelt on when you crash. It's not going in too well for you guys. It, it's not. And this also fits the light. It would probably fit other lights too. I wouldn't go for the Valkyrie or nothing. This is a pretty small light and it probably fits in it, but it actually makes it snug more. Really happy with it. The only thing I can really say bad about a KD, uh, I meant the uh, nylon holsters like this, this will pop off sometimes and your gun will pop, and that's not good if you're in a store or somewhere. Uh, I mean, yeah, you could easily just put it back on, but uh, how you can fix that is get you some rubber bands and tie around that back thing. You'd have to bend this up, I ain't gonna do it. But uh, you just tie it, put a bunch of rubber bands on it, and that'll keep it from going off too. Or also use a belt. Where I go? I can't believe I did. I know. I, I, I know a lot of you all love show and tell. So show you what it looks like. Oh, I get big boy out here. Ugh. This is what it looks like. very heavy too so that knocks a lot of the uh the limp wrist out plus that light does too on the end like you can literally hold it from i can hold it from my hip and not and shoot and not have a limp wrist Glocks are bad for that guys if you've owned one and shot one for more than a week you know this only whenever it comes to uh like shooting at the range where I wouldn't have to reload as much. This would come in handy. But as far as self defense comes, I would only jerk this out if the shit really hit the fan, but I'd grab my rifle then. But this would be a, a good addition too. I wouldn't be driving around with this in my car. That's a little bit, I mean, Honestly, that's stupid, really. Unless you just can't hit nothing. You can't shoot, then carry you one of these. One more thing before I go. Guys, I got one more uh, really great tip for you all. I figured I should save this one for you all that's watched the video completely through. Um, it's the best tip of them all. And I'm not going to do it, but uh, I can explain it to you. Don't load your pistols semi-automatic guns by ranching this back and popping that up and dropping the sign and putting the bullet down in here like you would a uh, hunting rifle and then pushing the slide up dropping this down but honestly don't push that down either while that's back because it will file this down I mean you can if you want but if you love your gun and you pay money for it you should take real good care of it so that's the 
last tip I could really give you. Probably the best one. I've done it. I'm guilty of it. I've done it many, many times as a kid. All throughout my life, I didn't know. We've all done it, but don't do it if you already done it, because you will have to replace this little guy right here. The extractor. You gotta chip it off down in there. And then you're putting your life in danger if it's your self-defense weapon, because then it won't clear the chamber and cycle another round into it. I mean, you'll have all kinds of problems if that extractor starts uh, messing up on you. Oh yeah, guys. Just for fun, keep your finger away from the trigger unless you're shooting a damn gun. Thanks for watching. Like I said, guys, in the next video, I will be uh, doing a cleaning video on the block, and then the next video of that on guns will be an AK-47. But y'all gonna have to guess what kind of AK-47, and down below in the comments, y'all get it right. I might uh, have a nice little giveaway for y'all. One of y'all are going to get it right, I know one of you will. Cool. Thanks for watching, y'all. Cheers. Peace.